Okay, so here I am on the Survey Monkey website um, because I said I would do a video or two on the subject of creating surveys uh, for market research purposes to do from your website. Survey Monkey gives you the ability to survey people from Facebook apps or from emails or from your website. So I thought I'd come here and take a look at this. I've never used them before. Um, if you just uh, have a quick if we have a quick flick through it just to see what they say they do um, clicking on the how it works button they describe the various features here uh, about what they can do so here easy question creation they explain that you can use templates or compile forms pretty easily yourself custom branding uh, at the higher end of the paid plans you can use absolutely white label uh, on their surveys which is to say that the the um, the company names Survey Monkey won't appear anywhere, um, but even if you're not white labeling, you can still customize the surveys with your logos. Um, advanced features are talking about A B testing and randomization and so on, and various uh, lo logic that you can apply to the questionnaires. Here, reach the right people, they're talking about um, geo targeting. I think they're talking about running surveys for you in this case, where you can geo target and target by demographics. Um, so, that would be a paid service, I imagine, on top of uh, what they offer within their plans. Collect responses, they're just talking there about the various ways that you can do the surveys through websites, Facebook. Uh, email marketing and so on and then robust, robust reporting they're talking about the fact that they can create char charts and graphs for you from the surveys that you put out there so there's that um, examples if we just go in here uh, they've got um, a tip section by the way um, you can look at that there's loads of information about how to create surveys they've got a do's and don'ts uh, about question writing there um, kind of do, do's and don'ts that, that they're describing is um, you know uh, market surveys which is what this amounts to is a bit of an art and a bit of a science and they're warning you for instance about things like um, leading questions and they're explaining the difference between um, open questions and closed question and, uh, questions and an open question would be what did you think of the game yesterday where you can clearly kind of riff on that and and you know rant and rave and give all manner of answers to that but if I was to say to you did you like the game yes or no then your responses are rather more limited so they talk about all of that kind of stuff so there's ample information that they're giving you uh, you know if you're a bigger organization and then and it's important for you to get your surveying right then they are sort of offering a certain amount of education here on how to go about things if we look at plans and pricing what we see is there's a free basic plan and that's what I'm going to be signing up for 10 questions per survey on the free plan uh, and no more than a hundred responses per survey so they're going to limit your responses um, now that may seem very limited just a hundred responses but bear in mind that most people are pretty reluctant to give any kind of information online and um, you know that you, you've got to persuade people to take the time to fill in a survey as well uh, I I sometimes fill in surveys for people because um, I don't mind giving my opinion if people want it and if I've got the time and if the questions are not too uh, invasive then I don't mind doing it um, some people regard giving any information away online as tantamount to selling their soul to the devil so so the point I'm making a hundred responses is probably quite a lot in the real world um, but I'll find out because I've never done an open survey before so I'm going to put an open survey on the Webwiser website somewhere I'll come up with some somewhere and some reason to put a survey on just to to experiment with it and then the paid plans here you're going from 26 pounds per month up to 800 pounds per month I'm not absolutely sure what that is in dollars but um, the idea is the more you pay the more responses you can have and the more tools uh, that are available to you for evaluating those responses so that covers you know the basics of what SurveyMonkey uh, tells you that they do and next I'll move on to creating a signing up and creating a survey so here I am in the SurveyMonkey uh, survey creation area now I've signed up given them my name and email address 
clicked on the create survey button I've given the survey a name which in this case is going to be webwiser one and when you do that you're first taken to a quick tour um, and it shows you around really this tool on the left hand side of the page and it's from here that you can drag uh, questions over onto the page onto the survey page that you're about to create so if we have a quick look at this um, here are the question types and if you move your uh, cursor over them you get a drop down or a fly out showing you what these questions are going to look like when they're on the page and it really is just a question of drag and drop so here's a multiple choice question that I'm dragging in um, those are three questions well what what do you like best and these are the answers option apple banana or cherry uh, you can click these off if you want by by clicking this uh, red uh, cross button uh, or you can add extra extra um, questions if you want to uh, obviously you can change the answers that people can give and then you just click on the save button and there it is saved on the page you can go back by moving the mouse up towards uh, where the question is get the option to delete and edit and so on so further down uh, we've got we've got a thing called question bank here and the little tour that I went on describes these as methodologically sound, meaning I presume that they um, don't lead to too much bias. Remember, remember, as I said earlier, market research is a bit of an art and a science. And if you're if you're supplying leading questions, then the survey really doesn't amount to much. It's just a waste of time. So again, you can just pull in the questions and there they are on the page and you have the same ability to edit or delete as with anything else a bit further down you've got logic now this gives you the option to jump from one question to say uh, a question on another page according to the answer that you've just given um, for instance if you say you don't like motorbikes they won't ask you any more questions about motorbikes they'll jump you to a page with, with questions on cars for instance um, you can't use all of this logic as a free uh, member these are for um, I think some I think you can do randomization as a free sign up but the more complicated logic you can't use unless you're on a on a paid plan options this is just the option to add your logo give your uh, surveys titles progress bars and all of that kind of thing and lastly themes uh, they describe this as aesthetics in the tour that I did and really it's picking a color so having built your form then you can preview it uh, you can send it to friends or colleagues to uh, assess it and to see what they make of the form and then you can publish it to wherever, wherever you intend to publish it to so I'll do that I'll, I'll publish it to the Webwiser website and then I'll show you what it looks like so here we are here's my completed form just before I go on I'll just mention that this question bank here on this tool is much deeper than I first realized it was um, you've got this drop down here from which you can select uh, different uh, categories of questions so there are actually loads and loads of questions uh, you know uh, customer feedback customer satisfaction customer service product feedback and so on so loads of questions pre-made questions you, that you can choose from which saves you time in creating uh, the, the questions in the survey form uh, by manually as I did and actually manual creation is very simple but uh, what I discovered is when you're trying to frame questions in just the right way it takes a little bit longer than I thought it would do but there is my completed form I don't think it looks great I, I, I couldn't add a logo as a free uh, user um, that's only paid plans and a lot of the logic wasn't available to me but I was able to ask basic questions so I've created a form just to find out who's coming to my website just to be nosy actually to find out um, if it's any good to people and and um, you know what they make of it uh, you can preview it um, it just gives you this warning here but there it is that's what it's going to look like uh, let me move it down the page so you can see it all um, I don't think it looks great I could probably make it look a lot nicer than that I'm not sure whether I can import images into this as a free user you certainly can if you're on a paid plan I'd like to see a little bit more white space here at the top beneath this 
heading and I'd like to take the heading down the page as well um, but you know the questions are okay so that should uh, be good so I'll just find out now how to add this into my website so I'm going to click this next button here at the top right hand corner so here I am having clicked the next button and what I'm presented with here is a URL which I could put into an email for instance and that would send people over to the Survey Monkey website to do the survey um, and there's a couple of things here that I can edit as well the number of responses per computer uh, do I want respondents to be able to edit their survey after they've completed it and then there's some uh, premier um, plan options here you know I can if, if I'm a paying uh, user then I can send people to a thank you page of my own choosing and I can also choose to disqualify certain people from taking the survey but I am going to click on this I button at the bottom here embed your survey on your website which is what I want to do so I'll click on that so then I'm taken to this area where I get to decide what happens on my website uh, I can uh, embed it into a web page which is what I actually do want to do or I can have it uh, have an invitation to do the survey pop up when people visit a specific web page or I can have the whole survey pop up when people uh, visit a particular web page I get to choose the width and height of the survey as it's going to appear on the page uh, and also whether I want to show a border hide the survey once it's completed and this one support WordPress using an iframe um, not quite sure about that I'm not I've never used iframes so I'm going to just set the size of it and then click Save in fact since I am using uh, WordPress I'm going to click on that I'm not really sure what's going to happen uh, hide the survey once it's completed or closed not really I want it embedded in the page so here we go click Save okay so here's the code so I need to just click in there do a control A to select everything control C to copy and that's what it's going to look like uh, so I need to go over and find a website a web page to drop it into on my website so I'll do that now so here I am in WordPress I've created a new page called survey it's a straight out of the box page uh, I've come over to the text tab here and I'm just going to do a copy or a control V to drop that uh, script into the page and then I'm going to publish it and here is my published page there it is it's got the survey title up there and there's the questions and I get a little scroll bar to the right so it's not just my browser scroll bar I get a scroll bar to the form um, so if I could just try I'll try filling in a few fields so there's my form with the fields filled in I'll say done thank you for taking the survey I don't know why it's slightly over to the right but maybe I can sort that out later so that's the survey done so here I am back at the SurveyMonkey website uh, as you saw previously I filled in the form on my own website I clicked the done button and now on SurveyMonkey I come to my surveys uh, click on the survey which I created which was called Webwiser 1 then I get the opportunity you can see there's been one uh, respondent so far which of course was me I click on analyze results and here I get the opportunity to look at the individual responses so I'll click on that and here you can see the answers that I gave in a word or two what kind of business or organization are you in aerospace my job is managing director I live in Luton and so on so I think the actual survey responses side from what I've seen is a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be obviously it lends itself to quite extensive analysis which is not really what I need but there you are that's the method survey monkey is one way that you can find out about what people are thinking about you your company or your website uh, and certainly you know if you don't need to offer a huge number of surveys then it's a free service and uh, you know it's perfectly good. It's good good way of doing things so I hope that's helpful